Hi and thank you for joining me. This is the third video in which we are looking at fractions for the entry level learner. This time we're going to look at how we put a set of fractions in order. When we are being asked to put fractions in order, there are a couple of things that we can have a look at. First of all, let's look at a situation where we have a set of fractions where the number on the bottom is the same for them all. Two eighths, five eighths, seven eighths, three eighths. Now, this is the more straightforward situation because if they are all eighths, they are all talking about the same fraction. So here we have two of them, three of them, five of them, and seven of them. So if we are looking to put them in order, let's say from the smallest first, you would simply choose the one that has the smallest number on top. So it would be two eighths, three eighths, five eighths, and seven eighths. And of course, if you wanted to put them in order from the largest first, you would simply put them the other way round. Now let's have a look at a different situation. And here we have a set of fractions where the number on the top is always one. So maybe we have one over two, one over eight, one over six, one fifth, and so on. If the numbers on the top are the same, and we are being asked to put these in order, let's say starting with the first being the largest, what we actually have to do is look for the fraction with the smallest number on the bottom. So out of this group here, the largest fraction is in fact the half. Then it will be the fifth, the sixth, and the eighth. So from largest first, we are actually putting them in order with the bottom number being the smallest first. That might sound a little unusual, but if you have a look at these two circles here, let's turn them into fractions. So the top one, we will do the half. And if I shade that half in, we can see how large a half a circle is. Whereas with the bottom one, I'm going to split it into half, but then I'm going to put another line through the circle here and split it into quarters. So if I shade one of those quarters in, we can quite easily see that a quarter, that is one over four, is smaller than a half, which is one over two. So the smaller the number on the bottom of the fraction, the larger the fraction is, provided that the number on the top is the same for each fraction. Let's have a look at a situation where things get slightly more complicated. Here we're being asked which is largest. Now in this case, both the top numbers and the bottom numbers are different. So we can't carry out either of the processes that we've just looked at. However, something that we can do to make this more simple is a process that I looked at in my basic fractions video, and that is to turn them both into decimals. And we discussed the fact that to turn them into decimals, we divide the top by the bottom. So if we were to do that and divide three by four, and also divide six by 10, so we are dividing the top by the bottom in either case, three divided by four, we would get the answer 0 0.75, and six divided by 10 is 0 0.6 or 0 0.60. Now that we've got them in decimals, it makes it a lot easier to compare. This one is 0 0.7, this one is 0 0.6, Therefore, this one is the biggest. So three quarters is larger than six tenths. And that nicely rounds up fractions for the entry level. If you do want to take things a little bit further, have a look on my channel and look for the fractions videos at level one. They go into things a little bit deeper. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit the subscribe button 
and uh, hopefully I'll see you again. Thank you.